What is up, guys? Welcome back to Pyre. Last time, we went against the Withdrawn, and uh, we had gotten a new orb. I think that was the time before. And it's like a practice orb and whatnot. And we're, we're in the in-between part where we're about to choose our next destination and whatnot. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the trial for Jodario, I think? Whoever we have the trial for. We're gonna do that for to we're gonna do that them for them before we continue on. You bring you bring me a brief reprieve from the solitude. What seeks you in exchange? Um request a scribe trial. Did I just do practice rights? I don't want practice rights, you dork. Charlie reader, that's why I'm here. See you in the blasted book in just a moment. My beyonder shall be waiting. I don't wanna go against you. It's not what I wanted. No Stop. Stop it. Stop it. No. This isn't what I wanted. Stop. Don't even load it. No. Why is there not like a back out? This place. So we're back. Look there. Our host approaches. Sandra appears and looks upon your fellow exiles. Welcome to the practice rites. Thanks. Great to be back. Love the decor, honest. Silence, Kerr. You're fortunate your reader summoned you again. You could use a little discipline. Now, come forth. Let's see how capable you are. Do I have to do it? In the practice rites, there are no enlightenment. No enlightenment is awarded. You may train here with your fellow exiles as much as you wish. Press the button to return to the wagon anytime. Now, there it is. There is a button for it. Get me back to the wagon, dang it. I didn't want to do any of that. I want to do the trial. You're killing me here. Oh my god, I forgot about something. Yikes. Probably can't hear like anything, can you? I'm a big dummy. Let me fix something really quick. Sorry. I had to change the audio setup and everything. Your vision returns as the effects of beyond to dissipate. Time seems to have stood still while you experience the vision. Cool. Anyways, let's try that again. Back so soon, hmm? Yes, scribe trial. Deems none of your fellow ex- oh. Alright. Never mind. I guess we can't. I guess we can't yet. Take care of yourself then. Well, that's weird. I thought, uh, I thought it said that we could. Oh well. That was a waste. Sorry guys. <laughs> Continue on your journey. Probably when we get to the next destination, more than likely. Big Bertrudes. Is that the only place? Small bog dwelling outpost at the edge of the sea. The lone minstrel says someone here can help you pursue the stars across the sea. Okay. So this is where we're going. Anyways, well that was a big screw up on my part. I thought it had said that we could do it, but I guess not. Alright. This is the place. Let us go to see my client's companion as soon as you are ready. I am ready. There's nothing else to do. Oh wait, is there someone to talk to now? Dodariel, what what would you like to speak about? Seems to have something on her mind. See Dodariel's steel gaze well before you turn to her. Rita, rummaging about the wagon once again. Tell me something, now that you are here. Look at me. Are you afraid of me? Are you kidding? You're rad, girl. You consider the question. You have never ne you have never before met someone like her. But do you know something of what happens to those who remain in the downside for many years? Uh, admit she can be a bit intense. Deny feeling that way. Say nothing. Um, from what you know of her thus far, you sense no need to feel afraid of her. You are very much aware that she could snap you like a twig at any point. I'm not afraid of her. Does she want me to say that I am? I think she's cool. I don't know. You tell her that although you do not yet know each other well, you do not fear her, and on the contrary, feel safer in her presence. Truly. In that case, I have much work left to do. You shall fear me yet. If you survive this place, now then, I shall go make my rounds. She walks away. You feel the floor of the wagon shake with her step. Jodario gained plus one hope for the next right. All right, so she she's like, all right, well, I want to. She wants to make us afraid of her for some reason. I don't I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> you 
goofball. Yes, yes, yes. Can we do it now? No. Alright. I know that we can. It said it said we can do the trial for her now. So we just gotta get to that point. Okay. Seek Big Bertrude. Big Bertrude is a sickly gathering of bog dwellers who stay within shadows. Yet you can feel their eyes surveying everything. The lone minstrel steps forward. Sandalwood sent us. Those words are enough to make the bog dwellers snap to attention. They emerge from the mud and dark and begin inspecting your black wagon with their strange tools. One of the bog dwellers slithers forth. Ew. She is larger than the rest and leaves no doubt that she commands the others. Thou speakest the name of Sandalwood. He, he would know his whereabouts. Reveal them to us. Good day to you, Big Bertrude. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, for Sandalwood always spoke highly of you and your handiwork. Mm, he did? Did he? It turns we know who thou must be. Yet thou speaketh of the past. Sandalwood doth he yet live? Speak plain and quickly. To be quite frank with you, madame, I do not know for certain, for I have been apart from him for some time, carrying out his will. Though. I have every faith that I, Sandalwood, lives. As for his current whereabouts, I understand that he awaits us somewhere near Waking Wood Beyond the Waters. Uh, we wish to seek him there, though, as you can see, our wagon is ill-suited for the task. One, The one called Bertrude frowns at this, studying the lone minstrel all the while. Indeed. Then leave us. Return at dawn, that is all. By your grace, Big Bertrude. The lone minstrel turns away, but Hedwin stops him. Hold on. Are you sure about this? Leaving the wagon in their care. All should be in accordance with my client's plan. You keep calling Sandalwood your client. He must reward you well. I, in a manner of speaking, he helped me find a sense of purpose I thought lost. Hedwin nods at this, then turns to you. Well, my friend, I guess we'll see what happens, right? I'm off to let the others know. You find yourself with time for your vocations, while the bog dwellers go about their business. Oh, neat! Mentor or companion, teach your fellow exiles of the way to the right. Their individual rank in the right more quickly to raise their ranks. Um, study in private, hone your skills as a reader, grant small global bonuses to your fellow exiles during the right. Alright, study in private. Or... Forage for resources. Um, search the surrounding area for valuables to add to your black bag and stash of goods. Hmm. I'm probably never going to do this because I like the idea of interacting. Teach your fellow exiles the, way, the old ways to raise their individual rank. So one on one. Let's do study in private because last time I think we did this with Rookie. So we're going to do we're going to do study in private. And we'll learn something new. You find a relatively quiet clearing to study the Book of Rights. With undivided attention, though greater understanding comes the reader's influence. Focus on which aspect of the book. Its teachings and their wisdom, plus one hope. Its authors and their prowess, plus one quickness. Or its innate mystic power. Hmm. One presence. I kind of want to go with quickness because we're doing like, we're doing like a machine gun strategy. We have Jodario who like holds the two guns. And Tizo and Ruki are the guns. They're like the bullets. So she's like shooting a machine. That's like the way I think about it. She's guarding while the two of them run and do quick damage. That's kind of like the way that I look at it. So I think we're going to go with plus one quickness. Uh, oh, you, you can get all of these over time. So it's not like you can't get them. So let's go quickness. So everybody should get plus one quickness because of me now. You concentrate on your knowledge of the eight scribes and how together they compose the Book of Rites. Among their many feats, inspiration comes to you in a flash, whether the, from the book or from within, you cannot tell. You gain the reader's influence, celerity. Finish studying. I wonder if any of them are going to be perturbed that I didn't go and try to train with them. Continue your journey. The lone minstrel finds you early the next day. Reader, it is ready. Please come and have a look. The others are already there. The lone minstrel beckons you to come to the wagon. Oh snap, look at this. It's fancy in here. It's really nice now. They cleaned up for us. The black wagon appears different now that uh, than it did even a day before. The hull is fully sealed and reinforced, and all manner of nautical equipment adorns the port side. 
hide. Wow. You people seeing this? I'm gonna have a look around. The wagon should be fit for sea voyage. Let us depart at your earliest convenience. What about, what about Big Bertrude? She then appears as if on cue. Tell that Sandalwood, he owes us twice over. If I may, Big Bertrude, you could tell him yourself if you wish to accompany us in our voyage north. Our group would welcome someone of your vast experience. Dare thee make flirtations upon us? No, I, I... Enough. But should ye, should ye see that Sandalwood, tell him also to come visit us again. Now be gone from here, and tell no one that we were paid in favors. Ooh. She slithers off without another word. Soon the lone minstrel breaks the silence. We are fortunate that she assisted us, but we should go. Just as she said, I know the navigational controls and shall explain. This is so exciting, I don't know how to swim. It's great. It's great. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel ill already. Your black wagon became seaworthy. The Sea of Solace awaits. Set sail. Onward and outward. The Worm Gulf. Oh, we're going to dive off the cliff. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. I'm excited for this. Here it comes. We're just going to jump off. Whoa, oh my god, that's great. Boat form achieved. Do we actually move the boat? No, okay. The worm gulf. The gulf of worms. You and your companions watch the sea as your wagon rolls over the gentle waves. We have crossed this in, we have crossed into worm gulf. I hope that all of you are acclimating well. There is no acclimating to these worm infested waters. We risk everything to sail here. As long as we follow the current, the cold current Big Virtue indicated, we shall be safe. If the next ride is in the middle of the sea, how will our adversaries meet us there? They shall find their way as we find ours. It is all part of the scribe's design. Now, reader, please confirm the next point of, on our sea journey. We seek the Hulk of Oris. All right. So, we need to go to the Outer Solace. Fetid waters off the coast of Flagging Hands. Uh, Bertrude's instructions are to navigate the maze of Maws in a curving route bearing northeast. Alright. Whoa. Jumping ships, dude. Our, our ship can jump. It has hops. It's a bunny ship. Woo! That was a hard turn right there. This is really cool. I don't need to guide it myself. Just like watching it go along is enjoyable. What have we here? The wagon continues to roll gently across the waves, which seems to you a welcome change of pace, after having come from flagging hands not very long ago. However, Jodario seems more concerned now than before and paces ceaselessly. When she notices Ruki, she stops him for some questioning. Greentail, how is he doing? Ooh, Hedwin? Oh, he's pretty much the same. Been up all night. Retching into the waters, if I had to guess. His first time out at sea? His first. She turns to you. Reader, please check on Hedwin when you have the opportunity. He requires our support, and we require his swift recovery. I don't think we're going to be able to use him in the next one. You wish them a good afternoon as you go to check on the others in the group. Later, you find Hedwin looking out of sorts. Oh, hello, my friend. It's just... The sea hasn't been good for me, I guess. It's funny, all this trouble, just to get back to the commonwealth of all places. Hey, tell me something. What do you miss the most about that place? Your book collection, the few friends you had, perhaps the food, nothing springs to mind. Wow. Um, your life was almost always difficult, but several of your longtime confidants did help you get by. Your book collection. Sure, it was highly illegal, though just the same, you miss having access to those volumes. Perhaps the food. Your mouth waters at the thought of it, at least compared to what's pass passes for sustenance here. Let's go with friends. That sounds nice. I miss friends. You know the TV show. I miss it. <laughs> That's what I miss from that. You tell him that there were those who did support you over the years, and that it pains you now to be apart from them. Yeah, I hear you, my friend. There's someone I miss terribly back there myself. 
I'm sure that when you make it out of here, your loved ones will be waiting. Anyway, I'll, I'll be fine, I think. Thank you for checking up on me. You sense he wishes to be alone. There's not much to do to be done for him now. It appears Hedwin is too ill to conduct the next rite. May he soon get well. That's all right. We don't use him anyways. <laughs> Sorry for my interruption, reader. Please again confirm the next point to our voyage. Do can I do that, or is there anything else? No, it's just Sea of Solace. We're just gonna go. If we only have one option, I'm probably not gonna read what box comes up. Are we already at the right? Oh no! Wow! Look at this. It's beautiful. Hey, look, we're on land. I bet Hedwin's happy. By the scribes, the sea. I didn't know it was so beautiful. Having escaped the waters of Worm Gulf, you now can see what must be the Hulk of Horus, far on the horizon. Not everyone has taken well to the sea voyage, however. Uh oh. Um. Sorry. He requires further rest, Tizo. All we can do is to wish him a swift recovery. Reader, madame, from this point, our voyage must diverge from Bertrude's instructions. Please consult with your companions about which course to take. Of course. Alright. So, the north current towards the Hulk of Ores runs as quick as under King Ores himself. Bay believes that the eight scribes shall bless you here. Okay. Fathomless Trench. Sorry if you could hear that buzzing. My, my timer was going off. And by that I mean I was getting a phone call. Um, <laughs> the south current toward the Hulkivores teams with fish and other sea life. Tizo wants to fish for something tasty here. Let's see. Character I don't care that much about. Character I absolutely love. I'm going this way. <laughs> We're going to play on Tizo's needs because Tizo is my favorite character. Tizo and Rookie. They're my favorites. I love them. I love them. Right. The sea is peaceful for the most part. Save for occasional strange shimmers beneath the surface. You realize the lone minstrel is looking down at them along with you. Those shapes down there. Some must be worms of the Sea Dominion, cast into exile. I understand they tire tirelessly fought the Commonwealth's wars. Having grown weary of their own, they must make worthy adversaries. Scraha! Tizo dives without warning into the depths below. And there he goes. That one enjoys being at sea despite its perils. Eventually, the little imp resurfaces, clutching something in his claws. Tizo caught a froth sea flounder. You could always sell it. Wow, okay, so we got a, we got a fish that we can sell. We'll probably come up to the merchant pretty soon, more than likely. We will sell him that fish. Thank you, Tizo. Uh, at last, you arrive at the Hulk of Oris. After journeying across the sea, it seems the next rite is to commence here soon. Though, there's no sign of your next adversaries yet. They're probably going to be fishmen. Alright, I need to sneeze, I'm sorry. Oy vey. Alright, let's go to the merchant real quick. Oh, hey, you guys. Funny, funny running into you out here. Right in the middle of the drink. You know what I mean? Not a lot of customers today. So, have a look. I'll give you a good deal. All right, we have a fish for you. Wow, 89? Sell the flounder. You shall have, no wait. Does this give us a plus? No, it's just a sell thing. Cool, thanks Tizo. You helped us Tizo, thank you. When aura casting, raises the bearer's maximum range plus 8%, raises the rank of certain talismans plus two. Okay. Grants the bearer plus two presence. That's a pretty good one. Grants the bearer plus two hope. After banishing an adversary, the bearer gains plus one money up to this many times per right. So you can get ten bucks every right. Carrying the orb, ash and coal. Um, at the start of the right, the bearer has that. So what do we have on you? Uh, after being banished by an adversary, the bearer has a chance to return immediately. It's 30% 30, 30 chance for that to come back immediately. I like that for her because she's our... She's our tank, you know, she's our, our goalie, essentially. Um, his is, after Ruki casts his aura, it lingers longer than usual. Cool. So when he snipes or uses an attack, that's not bad. I would rather have him be one where he, like, moves faster. And then Tizo has the one that does bonus damage. I wonder how, what the cap of a rank for a talisman is. Curious. 
Anyways, we're gonna buy these because I think these are like the most useful. Can we just like straight up buy it? Oh, we gotta drag it over. Yes. I want. I think we need to buy these every time we um we buy um anything. And then we're probably just gonna save the money. Casting aura raises man. Presence would be a good one instead of the 30% return, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And everything else doesn't affect speed, so we're just gonna call it at that. But let's see if I can't use these on some of the talismans. So this is a rank 10 talisman. 30% um, is good. This is a, what happens if I use the plus two on this? Will it increase anything? So this will go to 240% linger. That's good, so that's more than double. Let's see what happens if I do anything to this. So this will cause it to be one more point of damage. If we go up just one level, what happens? Anything? It does. So let's go like this. If we get an increase, all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna get up Tezo's at, um, talisman because then he'll do even more. I want to get him to the point where he does more than 20 damage every time he hits. Because um, right now he does 15, and I think Rookie does 15 as well. No, I thought Rookie did 20 for some reason. Hope. The attribute affects duration of banishment. Oh, the higher hope they have, the shorter time they're banished. Her hope is really low. Wow, I didn't even realize that. That's crazy. Okay, so that's good. She could definitely use some points into hope, though. That's good to know. She's not the one who gets banished, though, so not that often. Come see us again, guys. we Will do. But with that, guys, that is going to be where we stop for today. Next time, we will not commence the right right away. <laughs> we'll go into the, the wagon and see if we can do that trial, and then we'll commence the right. But either way, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you will join me next time. I am Mr. Bagels. Goodbye.